Some very massive news has just dropped, and I can't wait to talk to you guys all about it. Owen Hart is going to be featured in the AEW video game, and we now know that AEW has officially announced a tournament in memory of Owen Hart. Uh, we're also going to talk about an Impact Wrestling debut. Uh, former WWE star has appeared at the Impact Wrestling tapings. Ultimately, some really good news. And while we're talking about WWE and AEW, something very interesting. Uh, WWE is actually not doing too well when it comes to the UBS arena, but we know AEW is having great success, so we're going to talk about it. Uh, if you guys want more videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring the bell, get notified, join the Discord. We're bringing you guys daily videos, and uh, this is the type of stuff you don't want to miss. All right, guys, Ari Sterling, a.k.a. Alex Zane, a very big standout in the indie wrestling scene, was released by WWE. Very short tenure in WWE NXT 205 Live, uh, but we now know that he was backstage at the Impact Wrestling tapings this past weekend. Now, the reason why this is actually a big deal is because there are a plethora of talent who were released at the same time, and now the non-compete clause has officially opened up, allowing these guys to debut on television shows. Uh, Alex Zane is somebody that's really made a name known for himself in the indies, including GCW, but also... Impact Wrestling is still a major player, despite the fact that Alex Zane or Ari Sterling may not be the biggest name in WWE, uh, or was the biggest name, he is a very skillful name, and when you look at the Impact Wrestling product and you see guys like Ace Austin and Josh Alexander and Trey Miguel, these are just some of the names that are making a name for themselves in Impact Wrestling. I have a very strong feeling that if, in fact, Ari Sterling, Alex Zane, signs with Impact, I have a very strong feeling it's going to be a very successful Thing. So, guys, here's the thing. Don't forget about Impact. I see a lot of times people forget about Impact. I want to start talking more about Impact on this channel. Even though they may not bring the most viewership, I genuinely enjoy the product. So, ultimately, why not? And here's the thing, guys. If you're a fan of wrestling, give Impact Wrestling a try. They're not going to sign every massive WWE name. But the thing is, they are putting on a great product without them. So it just goes to show you that consistent creative, good television, good storylines, it will do big things for you. Now, I have complained in the past about Impact's production, but the more support that they get, hopefully they will eventually do something about that and improve the product. Ultimately, some really exciting news, uh, and I'm kind of excited about it. All right, guys, we got to talk a little bit, just a little bit about uh, the UBS Arena, because if you guys didn't know, Wednesday, December 8th, AEW is headed to UBS Arena at Belmont Park, and right now, things are looking incredibly good for AEW. In fact, they're very close to being a completely sold-out show, whereas WWE, who has a show like a week or two before, uh, is not necessarily doing things on the level of AEW. Now, you might be wondering, how is it possible that AEW is outselling WWE in this market? But guys, it goes to show that AEW is just doing everything right. They are capturing the fans' uh, you know, their energy. They're getting their, they're getting bought in from the fans. And also on top of that, AEW is just a really, really good show, and you don't want to miss them. You know, every show feels important. It feels, it feels like it's a big deal, you know. And I feel like, you know, even from somebody in Michigan, like I want to go to these shows. And with your support, I can. But the big thing is, like, that's what it feels like going to an AEW show. Whereas you feel okay missing a Raw or a SmackDown. It's just something for you guys to consider. AEW is, I mean, this arena is a brand new arena. WWE is going there, like, a week or two before. And no, they're not doing it as well. In fact, I think right now if AEW went to Madison Square Garden, it'd be completely sold out as well. So just some food for thought. AEW is kicking ass. This is proof. Just be considerate of that next time you have issues with WWE versus AEW. You know, it's okay to admit it, but right now, WWE is just not the stronger company in terms of fan attention and, and, and energy and excitement. Like, this is what AEW is doing really well with. Now, there is going to come a point in time where AEW is going to struggle because that's just how it is in business. There's no such thing as a perfect business. But I want you guys to consider this. The more that these companies get support, the better the product gets. And I feel like that is what's happening with AEW, and it's the opposite of what's happening with WWE because WWE does not follow up. 
Now we got to talk about this, guys. AEW and the Owen Hart Foundation enter into a relationship to honor world-renowned wrestler Owen Hart's legacy. This press release just came out today. Very exciting news. I will put the link in the description so you guys can read the full press release. Uh, but basically, AEW has announced that this collaboration will allow them to launch the annual Owen Hart Cup Tournament within AEW, which will see the winner receive a cup known as the Owen as well as the production and distribution of unique and original Owen Hart merchandise, including specified retail goods, as well as the upcoming AEW video game. This means that Owen Hart will be in the AEW video game. Now, you, mon you might be wondering how this even happened, but let's just talk about this for a moment. WWE has had a terrible relationship with the Owen Hart family. Uh, the, the relationship hasn't really gotten stronger. We, we know that WWE tried certain things in the past, but now with AEW teaming up with OHF, it, it just sounds like AEW truly respects the wrestling business. They're going to do this in, in great memory of Owen Hart. And how can you not get excited? Owen Hart's going to be part of a wrestling video game for like the first time in like, I don't even know how long. Okay, but that's exciting. And, and the fact is like AEW has only been in business for two years. Like, they have not been in business this long, but they're making big moves. AEW continues to dominate the game. It's not just about ticket sales. They're doing everything right. And when they are wrong, they're willing to improve their product. So if somebody says, hey, Ango, you sound like a fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. I'm just a fan. I appreciate not being insulted. I appreciate when companies really, 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 really do right by their audience. And that's why there's parts of WWE that I like, and there's parts of WWE that I don't like. There's parts of AEW that I love, and there's things about AEW I don't love. But when you see AEW make moves like this, you go and respect them a little bit further. When you see the way AEW respected Brody Lee, despite him only being in the company for a short period of time, you go on to respect them. And that's the thing. It's, it's almost like there's like this human connection between the fans and AEW and with WWE, it feels a lot more like a machine. Don't get me wrong, AEW is all about business. Don't get me wrong, AEW's got to make money. But at the same time, too, there's like that mutual understanding that they really are for the fans and for the wrestlers. And I just don't know how anybody could be against that. But I know for a fact, like I've talked about this on the channel, like I'm going to be playing the AEW video game on this channel. And I can't wait because when this game comes out, Owen Hart might be the first person I use. Uh, and by the way, the Owen Hart Cup Tournament, not to really get off track, but just some food for thought, it could be very, very similar to like the G1 Climax. So just, you know, really good stuff happening in AEW. I'm getting more excited for Dynamite. I, I just can't wait to see what happens next. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Get notified. Do all the good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.